Encanto. So today we are celebrating Encanto with a Luisa doll cake. My favorite character. Now this buttercream cake was stunning and simple, so let me show you how I created it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quali Pops. My name is Jessica Darrow and today we are celebrating the Queen Louisa. I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So this is me from the future. I'm editing and I just realized that there's a hair right over here that's just sticking up the entire video. And I don't want to reshoot it so I'm just gonna tell you guys so that you noticed. Probably some of you didn't even notice, but now you notice. <laughs> so when I saw the trailer for Encanto, I knew I was going to be creating the main character, Mirabelle, and then the sister, Isabella, because she was like the pretty sister and she had like the flower power and I was like, ooh, that's gonna sell. But after I watched Encanto, it was like, Louisa was the only one that mattered to me. I just loved everything about her. So I decided to celebrate her with a cake. Even though this is a Louisa doll cake, this is part two of my Isabella doll cake. And the reason for that is because I just had too many cakes and nobody to eat them. Diabetes runs my family. How can I eat all these cakes? I can't give them away because of everything that's going on. And so instead of baking a brand new cake, I took my Isabella doll cake, pulled Isabella out and just stripped away all of my buttercream. Now, if you want an in-depth look at how this cake started, there are links in the description box to part one. But here's a recap. Ice, stack, ice, stack, carve, carve, carve. Ice, 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 final ice, strip. I really wish I was able to reuse this buttercream because it's just gonna go into the trash. There's no other way to use it because there's crumbs on it. So it's like, what am I gonna do? Just like eat a full bowl of buttercream? Talk about clogged arteries. I would probably die after I finished it. After I stripped my entire cake of buttercream, I added another final coat of royal purple. I'm just gonna work this royal purple. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm just gonna work my purple all the way around my cake until it's fully covered. After that, I placed my Louisa doll in the middle. Now this cake was meant for Isabella, so it's kind of too short for my Louisa doll. So I added fondant like right by her waist and I just covered it with buttercream to blend it in with the rest of the cake. When I was finished, I put my cake in the fridge to set up and once all of the buttercream solidified, I took it out and started to shave away buttercream and give this dress a nice smooth surface. One thing I want you to notice is that after I did all this work on the buttercream, it got darker. So I put it in the fridge, I let it set up again, I took it out, and then I added a very thin layer of buttercream with a paintbrush. That way I have my nice smooth surface and I have the original color on top. After the bottom of my gown was done, I started to work on the top. Now I like the top that she's wearing in the movie, but it doesn't scream queen to me. And I want her to look like royalty, so I'm gonna give her something a little bit more regal. So I'm using the same color scheme, but instead of a t-shirt, I'm giving her a tube top first, starting at the front and just overlapping it at the back. Now I love that her hair is up and I think that I can give her like this really nice, thick, voluminous, almost like avant-garde color. So I'm adding ruffles of fondant to the top. That's pretty much it. I was thinking about giving her sleeves, but then I was like, I really wanna highlight all of that muscle, man. All that muscle that's just like holding up her family and her entire community. Why would I want to take away from that? It's just beautiful. <laughs> that's why she's my favorite character. I love Luisa. Now I really do like all of the detail on the bottom of the dress. So I'm using some like Barney colored fondant. <laughs> I'm just wrapping it all the way around. And then I'm adding more fondant detail to create some dumbbells. My Luisa doll cake was complete. Stunning, man. That top is, oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. Oh, look at those muscles just shining through on the sides. Damn, that looks good. The dress the queen deserves. Now, Encanto has a lot of really good songs, but Luisa's song is my favorite. We don't talk about Bruno is like a close second, and then Isabella's song, but Luisa's song, it just, it hits differently. It's a banger, but also emotionally, I just relate to that song so much. And you know what, like, I like Mirabelle, she's I. Right. but 
It's such a missed opportunity that this movie didn't revolve around Louisa. She gives off like main character vibes and her struggle to me is more relatable. And also, I think it's just incredible that they're highlighting this sort of body type. Usually in animated shows, when there's a girl that's like muscular like this, she's like the ugly ogre type. But here, Louisa's the strong, beautiful sister. Oh, I could go on and on. It's just so beautiful. And yet, she's the secondary character. So stupid. <laughs> you basically took the queen and you put her in the back. Why? Oh my gosh, it's, so f it's frustrating. Know that Disney's taking a lot of movies and then giving them Disney Plus shows? You need to give Louisa a Disney Plus show and correct this injustice. I'm curious, do you guys agree with me that Louisa should have been the main character or are you like strong Mirabelle fans? It's like on a dessert table. When you see the cake, you don't want to eat anything else on the dessert table. Louisa's the cake. The rest of the family. Now I want to know your favorite character in Kanto in the comments and your favorite song. And also let me know what cake you'd like to see me make next. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye. So I think Louisa is the best part of Encanto. Her song is banging and I think it's the best song on the soundtrack. Also her body type is fabulous and it's funny to me that Disney was hesitant to give her as much muscle as they did because her merchandise is outselling Mirabelle and Isabella's. They banked on the wrong sisters. <laughs> they should have seen that Louisa is a queen. That's why I'm celebrating her today. I got a ton of cakes, you guys. And when I decided to make a Louisa cake, I kind of cheated. Basically, I just put together my Isabella cake, scraped off all the icing, added a new coat of buttercream, new fondant details, and voila. Nobody would have ever known. Originally when I was creating my Isabella cake, I was gonna give her the t-shirt that she wears in the movie, but I don't want her to look like she's going to Walmart. I want her to look like she's going to like Cinderella's ball. So I gave her a new top, new avant-garde collar, and boom, she's dressed like the queen that she is. So I reused my Isabella cake for my Louisa cake. And when I cut my Isabella cake, I cut it on the left side, which meant when I transformed it, I had to make sure that I cut my Louisa cake on the right side so that nobody would know that it's been cut before. Nobody would ever know.